All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my video predictions for this week leading up to episode 13 for Fear the Walking Dead season 3. This one is called This Land is Your Land. And spoiler the warning, as usual, if you guys have not seen episode 12 yet, Brothers Keeper for Fear of the Walking Dead Season 3, amazing episode. Definitely one of the best Fear has ever done, for sure. One of the most entertaining, no doubt about that. So the uh, review for that will be in the channel now for you guys. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll put it in the end videos for this one, so you can watch it after you're done watching this predictions video. So, uh, really excited for next week's episode of Fear, really getting ramped up here for the finale, even though I almost felt like... Really, you could have used episode 12 as a finale. Episode 12 was good enough uh, that if they use that in a finale episode, your episode 16 for Fear of the Walking Dead Season 3, I would not have been upset at all, which tells me, you know, is some good stuff because then that's saying to us that really episode 12 is good enough quality to pass for a finale and for nobody to be upset about it even if it was one that's how much of a standout episode it was to have that as a middle of the road middle of the second half season type of episode so after last week's episode i'm not expecting to see you know too much in terms of episode 13 as far as you know crazy exciting tons of zombie kills this kind of thing but fear has just been continuing to do their thing. I mean, season three for fear has just been craziness, all kinds of things happening, them throwing zombies left, right, and center, character deaths all over the place, and uh, it's just been absolute madness. Um, so the synopsis for this episode coming up, uh, This Land is Your Land, um, of course, I'm thinking referring to, uh, you know, This Land is Your Land, This Land is My Land, uh, <laughs> referring in this case, it sounds like, to the ranch, of course, and whether or not the ranch is worth fighting for, whether or not they're going to be able to kill off this uh, herd, could it be a no way out type of situation where this uh, zombie herd has sort of taken over the ranch and is all out there and everyone's kind of, you know, packed into the uh, pantry, um, Will they decide in this episode or maybe episode 14 that they're going to have to kill them off? And if there's casualties, then so be it. But they're going to want to take the ranch back. Um because fleeing or leaving the ranch may not uh, may not be best either since they're so low on water and uh, you know we'll have to we'll have to see we'll have to see if the ranch is going to continue to be a location in the show whether or not they're going to be able to take it back now from the zombies or if there's just too many uh, one of the things is it's kind of hard to tell watching episode 12 just how many zombies there are there we did get to see the size of this humongous herd but right now we don't have a good understanding I want to say of just how many in terms of numbers uh, of zombies are at the ranch right now is it you know is it a few hundred is it a thousand i'm just not quite sure where we're at in terms of the amount of zombies that are there the synopsis reads alicia is thrust into a position of leadership where she's forced to make life-changing decisions which is cool um so we know since Madison is gone, she's been pretty strong. Madison calls her the strong one, and she's basically uh, leading the um, the ranch side of things. So not not uh, Walkers or Crazy Dog Ophelia's side, the natives, but uh, the white people. <laughs> she's leading the white people side of things uh, at the ranch, uh, the ranchers, and uh, you know, kind of is one of their you know forefront type of people to make decisions and try to uh, keep things going on track, going in the right direction. So uh, of course, with them being being packed into the pantry um, you know I'm not sure how much they're going to be able to do with those characters um, one thing we haven't really thought of recently probably is that Madison and Strand and Walker are on their way back so they must arrive pretty soon I don't know if it's going to be this episode episode 13 or maybe 14 by the time they get back um, but I really like how they've split up the story here you've got them going off which allows us to really spotlight uh, Alicia Nicholas Troy and some of the other things that have been going on here that are important and put the focus instead of always being on Madison on some of the others like Alicia. Um, so it's cool to see. And uh, there's a couple there's a couple of previews here. The sneak peek is kind of funny because uh, I'm not sure what it's supposed to mean. Because <laughs> you got this guy who's just standing there. He's just like looking at it right. Uh, watch it. Watch it. You'll see what I mean. So you've got the beginning of the sneak peek is uh, let's get this over with. You've got Alicia hugging Ophelia. 
and then it says, uh, sure, you're going to be okay down here, uh, because, of course, you got, like, this guy who's, like, staring at him, you know, <laughs> until they just stare, they're, like, like, creepy, like, total creepy stare, right? Like, he's, he's, he's thinking some things, like, he's got some things going, like, she might want to put the shirt back on all the way, you know? <laughs> so, uh, you're sure going to be okay down here, you're going to be okay up there, um, so, you know, there's danger in both situations, of course. People losing their minds, them being trapped in the pantry. Not sure. I mean, I'm not sure if he's trying to look at her, like, uh, for leadership or something. Like, what should we do? Doesn't seem like one of those kind of faces, though. It just kind of seems like a creeper face. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, then you got Crazy Dog and Ophelia. They're going into the rafters um, to see, you know, what's going on. And then we do see another part in the promo of a zombie coming kind of down through and getting close to Alicia. So I have to see how they're going to kill that one off. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much it for the sneak peek. It's just the creepy guy stands out to me, especially at the end when she's like looking at him. It's like, I, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> what's going to happen there? It's exciting. Uh, you can't say it'd be unrealistic if he tried something, you know, given the set of circumstances they're in right now. Um, so, yeah, there's that. So the, this land is your Then the, uh, the promo. So you've got the people trapped in the pantry. We also have Nicholas and uh, Troy, who, of course, are uh, outside. And it says, uh, if these people die, it's because we failed. And there's some the grenade launcher going off. So looks like they've uh, shot off a few of the remaining uh, rounds of it, maybe just to clear out a few of the, uh, sweep out a few few zombies. Uh, Ophelia and uh, Crazy Dog, so we're all in this together. Uh, then we're going to die together. So I would say it's probably just kind of the continuing of uh, what we had happen earlier on, which is are these groups really one group or are they still two sections, two factions of two different groups kind of rammed together? So it looks like Ophelia is trying to talk him into it, try to see everything as, uh, you know, Everybody being one group and all the people being their people and no more of this turning against each other kind of thing because there's other threats out there that are more dangerous and they have to be together they have to be all in on this uh, we've got Troy and um, Nick ramming some zombies with a truck which looks really sweet because that's not something we see too often in the original Walking Dead right You're like running one over and the headlight comes off that's really cool man we don't get to see that a whole lot so that's really sweet uh, and then we've got the zombie coming down the rafters like I said and then we've got Troy and Nick getting stuck in the helicopter the window getting smashed and Troy kind of laughing because he's just enjoying it because he's basically totally lost his freaking mind at this point to losing his dad then getting kicked off the ranch and now losing spoiler warning his brother has just got him in a situation where he's totally um just lost he's got no idea <laughs> no idea what's uh what's going on what he's gonna do and he's just enjoying every minute of uh, being alive so i do like the um Kill Yourself Part 2 is the uh, sneak peek, right? Uh, you know, kill yourself. So we'll have to see. Uh, I don't think Troy is suicidal. I don't think Troy is going to kill himself. I think he's too much of kind of... Maybe he likes himself too much to want to do that. And he's enjoying... He's found, he's found pleasure in psychopathic uh, activities, which is not a good thing in regular life. In a zombie apocalypse, though, you could argue maybe that is a good thing. <laughs> you could argue that maybe that's a strength. If you enjoy killing things, if you enjoy going crazy, a zombie apocalypse may just be for you. So this episode, I'm not expecting too much. Um, you know, I'm, I'm wondering, like, where are they going to go with this right now? I, and, I, and I really, you know, as far as predictions go, it's like, damn it, I, I don't have a good one for you guys. I really don't know. I tend to think in a way that they'll probably clear out the ranch. They'll probably realize they can't run. They'll get all the guns ready to go out and just blast, you know, one at a time. Like, just just get everybody all the guns that you can because they did have quite a bit stockpiled in the pantry. So load everybody up open the doors and just blam, just blast everybody down. So we'll have to see if, uh, if, or possibly, you know, Nick and Troy could somehow find a way to lure them all away. Could it be the helicopter or something? Could it be, I don't know, you know, uh, just kind of explosions and kind of heading out or something. So we'll have to see how this all, uh, how this all works and how they, what they decide to do with the story. But we don't have that many episodes left of the season. This is 13, then we have 14 and 15, 16 are together. So they said like three episodes left. It's actually supposed to be four, but the last two will be joined, so it's like one night double uh, finale, which is awesome. So it's only like uh, three weeks left of fear. But, you know, as it stands right now, even if the season ended right now, I would not be disappointed at all with this season with fear. I have just enjoyed it so much. The only thing I wish is that more people would give it a try, more people would, uh, you know, watch every episode and then see what they think uh, being caught up uh, every episode of the series. But what can you do? I just... Uh, 
it's okay if other people you know are not into it. Uh, you know, we can enjoy it together, you guys and, uh, and me who do who do like the uh, the show for sure. So uh, let me know what you guys think is is going to happen. This one, I'm just at a loss. <laughs> I can't think like like which way are they going to go with it? I, I like the shoot them down idea where they all get guns. You know, give everybody assault rifles, open the doors, and just blast them all down one at a time. Clear them out. That'd be cool. So uh, yeah, let me know what uh, what you guys think. If you like this video, please thumb it up below. Send me your questions for Q and A's this week, guys. Definitely want to do lots of Q and A's this week for fear. After such a, a crazy episode 12, check out episode 12 if you guys have my review for it. If you guys haven't seen it yet, so for this video, I'll see you guys again soon for another. As always, it's Trev, and I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See you soon.